haunting discoveries in Congo that shock the world. Congo is a country that harbors countless mysteries, leaving explorers and scientists alike in awe. Within this wilderness, there are numerous bizarre creatures hidden in the darkness, along with unexplained phenomena that challenge scientific laws. In this video, I will take you on a journey to Congo, unveiling the 15 most terrifying discoveries in this region that have sent shivers down the world's spine. Rest assured, there are secrets that will make your hands tremble and send chills down your spine. Number 12. The gathering place of the worst diseases? In recent years, the Democratic Republic of the Congo has become the epicenter of haunting diseases, such as measles, polio, malaria, Ebola, and the relentless spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. This Central African nation has borne the brunt of the devastating consequences of these diseases. It is not surprising that the country's healthcare system is overwhelmed, coping with numerous dangerous epidemics simultaneously. With a relatively underdeveloped economy, Congo has struggled to provide quality healthcare to its people. Now the healthcare system of the country is on the brink of collapse. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, has issued an emergency alert, stating that Congo's health is in a critical condition, primarily due to a severe lack of medical supplies and funding. I believe that in adversity, we truly understand the significance of resilience. The people of Congo persist day and night, facing the epidemics with extraordinary courage and determination. The indomitable spirit and determination of the people to overcome even the most challenging circumstances are always evident. Number 11. The 50-foot snake, Remy van Leert. A Belgian Air Force colonel who served in World War II recounted encountering a 50-foot snake in Congo in 1980 during an interview on the British TV program Arthur C.C. Clark's World of Strange Powers. Van Leert claimed that in 1959, while flying over the Katanga province of Congo then under Belgian control, he spotted a massive brown-green snake. As an experienced pilot, Van Leerd believed he was adept at estimating the size of objects on the ground from the air. I must disclose to you now that the largest recorded snake measures around 25 feet. Therefore, the reported 50-foot snake is indeed colossal. But the story doesn't end there. According to Van Leerd, the helicopter descended about 30 feet above the snake, at which point it raised its head about 10 feet and looked up at the helicopter as if to attack him and his crew. During this moment, Van Leer Day managed to take a black and white photograph of the snake. This photographic evidence is irrefutable. Moreover, Van Leer, being a former Air Force veteran, is a credible witness, and he had no reason to lie. Imagine a 50-foot snake still lurking in the forests of Congo. It is truly a frightening thought, isn't it? Number 10. The Horrifying Cave in Attilio Gatti, an Italian explorer, ventured into the deep forests of Congo, defying danger to explore the unknown. He had fought in World War I and suffered from tuberculosis. Later, he sought a cure in Egypt, marking the beginning of a lifelong passion for African lands. By 1928, Gatti, driven by curiosity, embarked on a perilous journey to explore the Kawana Cave. Ignoring all difficulties, Gatti navigated through the jungle to find the cave's location and descended using a rope in the pitch-dark cave. I used to think that there must be a great treasure inside the cave, but life doesn't always go as planned. Inside the cave, he faced human skeletons, a group of cobras, and crawling spiders. Gatti eventually escaped the cave, vowing never to undertake such risky expeditions or revisit the cave again. Number 9. The Beely ape species was in the mid-90s. Malman and a Swiss photographer and conservationist discovered that the skulls at the Royal Central African Museum in Tervuren, Belgium, originated from a remote area in northern Congo. These skulls were found by Belgian colonizers a century ago. For Amman, the elongated skulls presented a puzzle. They were classified as chimpanzee skulls, but they were believed to be collected from an area with no known chimpanzee population. Were there chimpanzees there, or could this be an entirely new species? Later, an explorer named Hicks and a group of scientists ventured into the Billy Forest in Congo and captured clear images of the Billy ape. DNA tests confirmed that these apes were indeed chimpanzees, not a new species. 
The final mystery was solved, but Hicks' direct observations revealed unique behaviors in these chimpanzees. Hicks observed that they had a distinct culture and lifestyle, building nests on the ground and using primitive tools to catch ants or honey. Moreover, these billy apes were extremely aggressive and fierce comparable in size to adult men and capable of overpowering even lions. Imagine walking through the African jungle and encountering such aggressive chimpanzees. It would surely be a terrifying experience. Number 8. Giant Spiders of Congo A mysterious creature dwelling in the depths of Congo's thick forest is the Jaba Fufi giant, described as brown in adulthood, with a yellowish abdomen, this giant spider resembles other large spider species, but distinguishes itself with leg spans that can reach up to 6 meters. I think everyone would shudder at the sight of this spider, as legends tell that it has the ability to dig tunnels under large tree roots, creating burrows for camouflage. They also weave giant web nets covering a vast area. These spider webs can capture various animals such as wild boars, deer, or antelopes, even humans could fall victim to these massive spider webs. When ensnared in the web, the prey would be pierced by the giant fangs of the Jaba Fofi spider. They are capable of quickly dispatching their prey. There are stories of unfortunate victims being swallowed whole in the hidden dens of these spiders in the deep jungles. Despite many speculations surrounding this mysterious spider, scientists have yet to fully understand it. Number 7. Living dinosaurs in Congo, there are numerous legends about Mokulembembe, a dinosaur-like creature believed to still exist in Congo. Described as the size of an elephant with a long neck and a single tooth, Mokulembembe is thought by some to be a surviving dinosaur. In 1776, Reverend Levin Bonavoji Proyat visited villages in the upper Congo River to spread Christianity and educate children. The locals shared many stories about a giant creature that feeds on grass and submerges itself in fast-flowing river bends. They even showed Lee and Bonavoji Proyart massive footprints with claws up to one meter in diameter. By 1909, explorer Paul Greitz provided detailed notes on a creature similar to Mokul Mimbembe, fueling speculation and theories about the existence of living dinosaurs in Congo. Witnesses described Mokule Mbembe as resembling an elephant with a trunk and long claw toes. The creature ranged from 15 to 30 feet long, with a snake-like head, a long and thin tail, and a body roughly the size of an elephant or at least a hippopotamus. It had short legs with three claws on its hind legs. The color is reddish-brown. Mokule Mbembe is believed to be a herbivore living in caves along the riverbanks. Locals once it showed researchers a type of vine, believed to be its favorite food. To this day, there is no photographic evidence proving the existence of this creature. Well, I think it could be like the Loch Ness Monster, a mystery hidden with time. Number 6. Legendary Mahamba Reptile Congo is a land of mystical waters and countless legends about unique creatures. Among them is the Mahamba, a terrifying reptile said to lurk in the swamps near Lake Lakuala, described as being 15 meters long with powerful jaws. This creature is believed to be unlike any other known animal. Some speculate that Mahamba could be a surviving Thalotosaur, a giant marine lizard believed to have become extinct at the end of the Triassic period, or the descendant of prehistoric crocodiles, adding an extra layer of mystery to Congo's jungle rivers. Many indigenous people in Congo believe that the Hamba has attacked and swallowed boats and canoes. Crocodiles are fearsome enough, but encountering a giant Mahamba would be an entirely different level of danger. Number 5. Congamatos the Flying Lizard According to oral traditions in Africa, Congamatos is a large flying lizard living in tropical and subtropical regions of Africa, particularly in Zambia, Congo, and Angola. It is reminiscent of dragon-like creatures in folklore. Its name means breaker of boats or overturner of boats because Congamatos are said to capsize native canoes and attack those who venture too close to the nearby rivers. Described as a red lizard with membranous wings and teeth in its beak, its wingspan ranges from 4 to 100 feet. When shown images of large flying lizards, the locals claim that it's a depiction of a Congamato. In fact, there are historical reports of European explorers being attacked by large-winged creatures with injuries attributed to Congamato. 
People believe it primarily feeds on fish, but sometimes this creature is said to attack and consume humans. Kongamato is also thought to have a habit of grave robbing and stealing human corpses because, in Africa, burials are often not very deep. An interesting note is that most modern sightings of Kongamato occurred at a renowned birdwatching site in the area. However, regular birdwatchers never report anything unusual, suggesting that Kongamato could be a folklore woven by the locals. Number 4. The Darkest River in the World Ruki, a tributary of the Congo River, is dubbed the river with the darkest water in the world. The water is so black that you can't even see your own reflection. In scientific studies of the Ruki River, researchers concluded that the extremely dark water is due to a high concentration of dissolved organic matter from the surrounding tropical rainforest. They found that this color is the result of carbon-rich compounds released from decomposing plant, matter washed into the Ruki by rainwater and floods. Using a measurement system, a team of scientists in Switzerland discovered that Ruki's color is more than 1.5 times darker than the Rio Negro in the Amazon, the world's other famous Blackwater River. I wonder if this river is darker than the Tolich River in my hometown. Perhaps I'll have to visit Congo one day to find out. Number 3. Cannibal Tribe in Congo In the early 20th century, some European explorers discovered a formidable weapon in a minority tribe, the Congo. The Ningom Tribe. Ancient drawings revealed that the indigenous people used the Nthulu sword as an execution tool for prisoners, although there is still much controversy about this weapon. In the native language, Ngulu sword means executioner's sword, and the name carries a chilling sense. Passed down from generation to generation, it spread throughout the Congo region. The sword became a symbol of authority, only held by the tribal leader and influential figures. The total length of the Njulu sword is about 66 centimeters, resembling a flexible blade with sharp saw-like teeth on the lower edge. The executioner's sword only appeared during significant and special occasions. The Engomi tribe is known as a cannibalistic tribe in Congo. In addition to executing prisoners, they organized manhunts and captured individuals from nearby tribes to use as food. Today, Ngombi tribe still exists in Congo, although they have abandoned cannibalistic practices. However, they continue some ceremonies. Instead of using humans, they replace them with sacrifices of goats, emphasizing a change while maintaining some rituals from a dark past. Number 2. Long-Headed Tribe in Congo in the Mangbechu tribe's concept of beauty in Congo, the longer one's head, the more beautiful and prestigious one is considered. Despite sounding illogical, members of this tribe have found a way to elongate their heads. They believe that elongating the head pleases the spirit, ensuring divine favor and bringing good fortune to the tribe. Therefore, from an early age, Mangbechu children endure pain to achieve the desired elongated head shape. The elongation process involves tightly wrapping soft fabric around the child's head from the forehead to the top. The Mangbatu initiate head elongation when the child is about one month old, as the skull is still soft and moldable. The wrapping continues for several years, resulting in heads that may be twice the original size. While the elongated head is a symbol of beauty, it also presents challenges in daily life. Sleeping becomes difficult due to the head leaning towards the back of the neck, requiring individuals to sleep on their sides or stomachs. Pillows must be larger than usual to accommodate oversized heads. The headgear used for shaping hair adds complexity and time to women's hygiene routines. Number 1. Mountain Gorillas in Congo in the treacherous slopes of the Virunga Mountains, mountain gorillas find refuge. These gorillas, standing up to 2 meters tall and weighing over 200 kilograms, have become subjects of scientific study due to their rarity. Despite conservation efforts, their existence remains threatened by poaching, presenting challenges in preserving endangered species in Congo. Mountain gorillas have a highly social nature and live in relatively stable groups bonded by long-term connections between adult males and females. Although they appear powerful, mountain gorillas are generally gentle and shy. As of the last comprehensive data in 2018, the total number of mountain gorillas in the region, covering three countries, Congo, Rwanda, and Uganda, is estimated to be around 1063 individuals. 
Congo indeed houses numerous rare animal species, doesn't it? Dear friends in our exploration, we have discovered many fascinating and curious aspects of Congo. A land of sacred forests, unique terrain, and countless extraordinary creatures. Which fact did you find the most interesting? For me, the mystery surrounding the unidentified dinosaur species remains captivating. Please share your thoughts and comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give the channel a like and subscribe to be the first to watch new and exciting videos every day. Now, goodbye and see you in the next program.